They say, hold up, man, who's that? That nigga over there where all them bitches at? Ain't got no kicks on no juice, clothes don't even match. I spent a rag on my fit, ain't got no hunt With my niggas outside, got a match up. Get high always, what I ask for. Take flight all day without a passport. I rock to my niggas, man, I miss my dogs. Free my niggas on like, yes, fuck the laws. I'm not a player. Yeah, I jumped out my mama's pussy, then the nigga start trapping. I moved to the streets like a savage, went over the baggage. I learned from my money to manage. I talked to the blow, and I speak in no Spanish. Play with that brain, and your body gon' vanish. I been in the traffic, so we're living lavish. While dick and your pilots put in work, don't damage. We paint up your back like a canvas. And we don't give a fuck about you. You wanna do it right there? This boy trying to find a song. <laughs> 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 You gotta sing it to it, bro. Look, you sing it to it. What soundtrack? What soundtrack is it to? Uh, well, it, no, 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 I know it's, it's a song, but like, it's it. not a movie. Uh, yeah, it's in a bunch of movies. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's a little. Go ahead, sing along, bro. Don't want to do it right there. Sing along, goddammit, see, bro. Nobody's gonna sing, because I, I was going to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, a tuca in Texas. Not a wood. Two switches together, right, my boy? Yeah. Two diamond switches together. What the fuck are you talking about? 5.5 right now. 5.5. 5.5, man. I'm playing with that, man. He said, stop playing. Alright, this is what we're working on, huh? Yeah. Guys, that is that like some Cali type shit? Yeah, the moves while you sleeping, yeah, that's all I do. On the ground, 25, yeah, that's all I do. Stack money to the moon, yeah, that's all I do. Stack flex on tracks, yeah, that's all I do. Make moves while you sleeping, yeah, that's all I do. On the ground, 25, yeah, that's all I do. Stack money to the moon, yeah, that's all I do. Stack flex on tracks, yeah, that's all I do. The streets are turned on you, homie, ain't no G-code. End up in prison on the grave, on the earth below. Ain't no flesh behind your words, why you speaking for? Check the stats about the numbers up every low. I stay my bread up to the limit, then I'm out the door. Even out my strategy, you can't turn the flow. From the wild, wild west, anything. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, keep it real, I don't pretend. Used to go out every week one time. Business, the only business, you know what's going down. Southway Soldier, nigga, 713 shit. And I'm in motherfucking Shake Back Studio where everybody got them. Crystal Lean, the B Low, my nigga Shadow. We got Royal Flows in here. Hey, you got Crystal Lean, Royal Flow, Shake Back Studio, baby, much love, BP, TSM. What's good? That's real. My nigga Shadow, so we listen to The Shaman over there. If somebody wants to book some time with y'all, who they got to call? Shit, hit me up on the gram. You know what I'm saying? Where you put uh, email royalflowsrsv at gmail.com. My Instagram, uh, M S L E A N R S V, missing or at royalflow. Money to the moon, yeah, that's all I do. Stay facts on tracks, yeah, that's all I do. I keep it real, I keep it real. What the fuck? Shit, the name came, shit, for me, just BP mean Big Flex. 
So shit, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. For anybody that's from Texas, they know what Plex means. You know, it just, just go down like that. But Sancho actually gave me that name when I met him. Just because uh, it was some shit going on and I was maneuvering and he just, he was like, nigga, you a big nigga and you ready for whatever, so I'm going to call you Big Plex, BP. And that's how that came. Seventy-five percent of it surprised me because you know we come from an environment where there's not really artists like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not really like a thing. But recently, there's a lot of niggas like doing their thing in my hood. You know, like there's BCT. Those niggas are doing their thing and they're making real good music. They they putting out some real good content. And then, um, yeah, for sure, shout out BCT and goddamn the platform that Walk has helped me build, you know, in my hood. Because now there's a lot of people that fuck with me in my hood as far as music wise. I just, I really didn't expect it, but it was crazy. Because let alone get linked up with somebody like Sauce Walker, you, you got to do something or be somebody for him to, you know, get his attention. So it was pretty surprising, yeah. Uh, I want to say it played a major role because when I was younger, you know, I always told myself, you know, I want to go the good route. I want to, you know, get a good ass job and do my thing and help my mama and shit like that. But, you know, unfortunately, I, I didn't grow up with a mentor or a dad or an older brother to put me on game. So when I got into the streets, I got into it so heavy to the point where, you know, there's a, there's a point where you can't really turn back to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? So it played a, it played a major role. It taught me how to how to go get some food, how to go help my mama to pay the rent, how to pay the bills. It showed me how to how to just stay on my feet and defend myself. Again, I ain't have no no mentors to fucking show me how to fight. I had to fight every other day, goddamn, just to learn how to defend myself. Other bullshit, street shit that I don't really want to talk about. It's on camera, you know what I'm saying? But anybody that's from the streets, they know what goes down in the streets. I'm from Southwest Houston, Texas, Glenmont, 77081 shit. And shout out to all my niggas repping for the motherfucking hood. You know who you are. And if you're not, then you know who you are. But if you're repping for the hood, 77081, that's where I'm from. Question, shit. I didn't think that you were gonna throw me something like that. Mm. Dead, I would have to say Biggie Smalls because you know he was always such a big dude as far as like being fat, let's just say, from the hood. But what made him stand out is the flows he has and the delivery, the vocabulary, the swag, he just the drip he had to the motherfucker, you know. Me being a little kid listening to him. And the album cover when he's a baby, which is called, what was it called? Ready to Die. Ready to Die. Me being a little kid and knowing that he damn near kind of went through the same thing, you know, single mother and no brother, no sister or shit like that. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not sure. Not yet. Single. single yeah, single child too, right? Like, yeah. yeah, right, exactly. I relate to him damn near 100%. So, dead artist, I would like to work with Biggie Smalls, you know, rest, rest his soul. And if I could work with a living artist, <laughs> I would have to say Jaron Benson. And nobody really knows who the fuck that is. I and I, that and no, no, and, and that shit upsets me because that motherfucker can rap really good, very good. Just everything all around, whether it comes to the hype shit, the trap shit, the storytelling shit. He's just all around a really good artist. I would love to work with him. Hopefully he hears this. Hey, motherfucker, you hear this shit? I want to work with you. <laughs> just know that I'm a fan of your music. That shit goes hard. So him, for sure. Collaborations. I would love to do some collaborations. I really would, but... Uh, there's so much shit that is in this music industry, especially being the upcoming artist. The streets and the music shit tends to get mixed up a lot, so the politics has to be right. Uh, you need to know who you're dealing with and make sure that, you know, your friend isn't an enemy with that person. Or It's just a lot of politics behind the music scene in Houston, especially in Houston. There's so many fucking hoods and sets. You just got to know who you're fucking with. So I, I would love to collaborate, but, 
You know, there's a very thin line between that street shit and the music shit. They all fall in, in line most of the time. But I would love to do collaborations. I don't have any planned at the moment. Projects, yeah. I have, uh, I'm planning on dropping, I don't know if either an EP or a mixtape, but right now I'm just doing singles. I'm just, I'm just trying to do singles until I can make like 100 songs and select like 10, 20 of the best songs, the ones that I know are going to make noise and put that in the mixtape so everybody can enjoy, you know, all the work that I've been putting in and shit, because I've been really growing as an artist. It's crazy. I would want to say it's semi true for sure because especially when it comes to rapping you have to have a certain charisma a certain you know what I'm saying you just have to really be a rapper see what I'm saying to for that shit to work per se it's like if a rapper tries being a, a reggaetonero it's not gonna fucking work because it's just too different it's a different lane so I would just say be yourself be true to yourself because we live in an era right now of self-independency where, you know, people that are doing shit that might be fucking weird to you, they get a million views and they're doing what they're doing. They don't give a fuck about who's judging them or nothing. So just be yourself, you know? I would say learn how to manage your money at a very early age. That's what's going to help you take you to the next level. You know, managing and stacking your money is very different and that's something that a lot of people need to learn the difference of. Stacking it, yeah, you put it in a pile, but if something fucking happens, it's gone. Or if you have to spend it, you're gonna keep spending it, spending it, spending it, because you're not worried about it. It's a stack of money. But you need to learn how to manage and invest your money, make your money work for you. That's the only way that you're gonna gain economical liberation by establishing yourself with multiple businesses that give you multiple income. So if you can make 2,000, the average job pays 2,000 a month. If you can make five hustles that pay you 2,000 a month, that's 10,000 every month. You'll be 100,000 here in a year. So it just, it all depends on your grind and how you want to do it. I just, ain't nothing to it but to do it, man. Just do that shit. Mm -hmm. The rapping is for sure one, because I've been rapping since I was 12. And I didn't, I didn't start getting attention until literally like a year ago. When Sauce gave me the attention, everybody else turned around and was like, oh shit, there's a lot of people that knew I was rapping, but they just weren't giving me the props where the props were due. But as soon as a big platform person gives the props, everybody wants to run. Like, oh yeah, I've always told that nigga that he could always do it, but yeah, that's bullshit, motherfucker, because you knew I was rapping, but you ain't never shared or liked my shit. So. I mean, the rapping for sure, but I'm also trying to focus on fighting. I love to fight. The MMA or boxing world, I really want to tap into that eventually in the future. Not like one of these goddamn YouTube fighters either. I'm not trying to do it for views. I genuinely love fighting. Um, I started in Savannah's boxing gym in my hood and slowly maneuvered into uh, West Chase, right? Gracie Vada? Gracie Vada, they started showing me how to do the kicks, the knees, the Muay Thai, the Jiu Jitsu, everything else. I be training a lot too with my brother. His uh, IG is, what is it, Lord Shadow the Shaman? No, Lord Shadow 713. Lord Shadow 713, go follow my nigga, man. He be putting out his own content, doing his own thing. He's a rapper, engineer, a fighter, whatever you think he might be, he is. He, he do everything. And um, yeah, shit, that's what I be training with. I've been fighting with this fool since I was like 13, 14. Just training and fighting. Let's You can go either to YouTube. I got a couple of videos out right now on YouTube. Um, not too many. They don't have too many views, but I don't mind it because it's organic growth. As long as it's growing organically, that's all I really care about. Or SoundCloud. I'm trying to expand eventually into like Spotify, iTunes, and everything else, but I got to learn the business more to understand the contracting and all the other stuff, you know, percentages and all that. They can hit me up through my Instagram, um, bp underscore t dot s dot f. And uh, shit, just hit my DMs and make sure you come correct. You know, everything has gotta be done correct. And with respect, other than that, it ain't too hard to tap in with me. Unless you're on some bullshit, your reputation perceives you, so make sure you come correct.
Any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, hell yeah. I want to shout out shit to all my circle. And that's including my family, like my mom, my cousins, my brother H, you know who the fuck that is. I don't got to say who, you know. The whole team, the hood, everybody. The niggas from the G, the niggas from this and there, all my niggas from 7 Simmons 81, Solo, Geo, everybody, Shadow, Dope Boy, all the niggas that I fuck with. I want to send a shout out to them. But without them, I wouldn't have kept rapping, but they believe in me. And that crowd enough was enough for me to keep pumping the juices that I need now. I need y'all to stop bullshitting and follow down for the sound TV. You know what's going on. BPT is a business. I'm out here, man, in Shake Back Studios. You know what's going on. Trip. Hey, go ahead. Yeah, man. Shout out my BSG boys, man. I know how to pull we coming, man. West up and bitch the fuck up, right? 77081 shit, nigga. Good shit, show. My boy Chilanita, real tough, man. Shit, show. We all for that. Shout out to you with the cameraman. Yes, Appreciate sir. you. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. Shit, so. I'm in Mexican. I've been here forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. RIP my nigga Crook. RIP my nigga Stefan. And RIP my cousin Spike. Man, let's get you. Good. It's your girl, Crystalina. Royal Flows. I need y'all to quit bullshit and below. Let them know. Subscribe to Down for the Sound TV. That's it, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what's up. They say, hold up, man, who's that? That nigga over there where all them bitches at? Ain't got no kicks on no juice, clothes don't even match. I spent a rag on my vid, ain't got no hunts